Chief Meteorologist Chris Boone, sponsored by Jim Bass Cars and Trucks. Much colder across the state of Texas. We're seeing 30s and 40s for much of the Lone Star State. 43 in Wichita Falls, 38 up in Amarillo. We got a newest temperature just in the past hour, 39 degrees here in San Angelo. And again, we, that's because we've been allowed to cool off because of those mostly clear skies. We did see a little bit of clouds towards the southern parts, down towards Brownsville. Otherwise, we're looking at clear skies just in time for the partial lunar eclipse going on tonight. But we do have those freeze warnings for parts of Texas. And that extends in towards the northern part of the Concho Valley here. That starts in effect at midnight. And that's going to go until Friday at 8 a.m. So, again, definitely want to be cautious of any plants and pets outdoors. Those smaller plants you can probably pull inside. I think we're only going to be down into the below the freezing mark for a couple of hours. So, if you have any larger plants, just cover them up with a sheet. Otherwise, I think you'll be pretty much good as we go through the overnight hours. So, definitely want to remind you of some of our cold weather reminders to protect those plants and vegetation. Bring any of those outdoor pets inside and make sure you're covering up those pipes or giving a uh, drip to the faucet to allow those pipes to not freeze during those couple hours that we do get below freezing. Already seeing those temperatures drop here in San Angelo, 39 degrees right now with those calm winds and we're going to continue to see those calm winds as we go through the overnight hours. Again, 40s for much of the area, 39 in Robert Lee, 43 here in Ballinger, 43 in Eden as well. Still some of those mid 40s the further south you go, 46 in Junction. And once you factor in the winds, well, it's very similar as far as the wind chill goes. And that's because there's not a whole lot of wind out there. One of the kind of the good news about the winds kind of dying down is it's not going to add a lot of bite to that. Uh, those colder temperatures. So again, we'll just be looking at some calm winds and again, that's going to mean cooler temperatures. The temperature's getting into the lower 30s. 32 overnight low expected. Definitely first freeze possibility with mostly clear skies. And again, those light winds from the northeast. Tomorrow warming up, only getting into the mid 60s. We'll have some high clouds, but feeling very fall-like. And we're right where we should be for the middle of November. We'll start to watch for our winds to turn out of the southwest. That's going to warm things up as we finish up the week and head into the weekend. Again, we'll be looking at those couple of hours where we get below freezing. Then we quickly warm back up into the mid 60s for us on Friday. And then going into your Saturday start to see a return to the 70s and even maybe some upper 70s further north you go. So places like Robert Lee could be close to the 80 degree mark as you go into your Saturday and Sunday. Tonight, you might want to bundle up if you're heading out to take a look at the partial lunar eclipse. It's going to start at 118. We'll reach the maximum behind the Earth's shadow at right around 3 o'clock. Set those alarms if you just want to kind of get up there and get a quick sneak peek. Otherwise, make sure you get it knocked out before about 447. That's where we're going to wrap that up. And we'll be looking at, again, clear skies as we go through the overnight hours. Not a lot of changes for the upper level pattern. We will get a little bit of a ridging in over the area, warmer temperatures for us on Saturday. But then we see another shot of some cold air to start off next week. And we'll be watching for a series of cold fronts coming through. Again, first one being on Sunday night into Monday. We'll see some breezy conditions on Tuesday. Then we watch for another cold front. And this cold front's going to be coming through late on Thanksgiving. Could be bringing some rain chances to the Concho Valley.